Before we start, please, one like, two share, subscribe. Gentlemen, this is intelligence. We have some groundbreaking rules for texting girls that we're about to unleash, so you can know how to text girls without that panic about what to say next. We know you've tried to wing it on your own and stumbled, hit some roadblocks, or maybe even fell flat on your face. Don't worry. It happens to the best of us. But by the end of this video, you'll know how to text a girl you like with confidence. Which means more replies and less overanalyzing. And because we love you like the brother we never wanted, we're also going to share the all too common texting behavior to stop immediately. So here are 5 rules for texting girls plus the one texting fail you should cease and desist. 5. Focus on the goal guys, when trying to figure out what to text. A girl, there's one critical priority to stay laser focused on. And that number one priority is to get her to agree to go out with you. Why is this so important? I'll tell you why. Having an achievable goal is fundamentally different from a wish or a want. A wise man once said, the difference between a wish and a goal is that a goal has a plan. And end date for accomplishment. So when it comes to texting, what are you doing? Just texting away hoping she asks you out? K, what are the chances of that happening in this lifetime? I'd say your chances are about as good as winning the lottery or getting struck by lightning. Here's the thing, fellas. Endlessly beating around the bush and waiting patiently for an easy way in is not what a man does, and that is definitely not a winning strategy when texting a girl. If your approach is to wait patiently for her to ask you out, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you'll probably be waiting a long time. So when you're texting a girl, focus on the goal of getting her to go out with you. Otherwise, she might not give you the chance to ask. 4. Get her saying, yes, fellas, there's a secret formula that I'm going to share it with you right now. It's a tried and proven psychological technique used to get people to commit to something. This secret sales technique comes straight out of Tony Robbins' handbook that all successful salesmen have to learn. If a car salesman is trying to convince you to buy a car, they don't just come right out and say, hey, do you want to buy this car? Cause you're probably going to say, no thank you. And even if you do like the car, your knee-jerk reaction is to say, no, in order. To avoid the stress of committing. I mean, I'm not the only one with a commitment issues, right? Instead, those sly car salesmen build up to the big yes they're aiming for by piling. Up little, yeses. And that's the thing. Getting someone to start saying, yes, makes it significantly more likely that they'll Continue saying, yes, even when the questions require a bigger commitment. So here's how this strategy works. The best questions to ask a girl you like over text are ones with an extremely high probability of returning a resounding yes. It's as easy as, hey, do you like pizza? Of course, she likes pizza and she's going to say yes. And if she doesn't, delete her number immediately cause she's obviously a weirdo. This is the perfect build-up to asking her out on a date. With just a couple more simple yeses, you're well on your way to getting a date commitment. And guys, it's even okay to be a little silly and obvious about it. It won't negate the psychological effect of building up yeses to obtain that final. Yes. Here's what it could look like for you. Hey, Kay, do you eat dinner sometimes? Um. Yeah, of course. No way. Me too. Do you like pizza? Um, yeah, I love pizza. Do you like live music? Yes, I love live music. Awesome. Do you want to grab a slice and listen to some live music at Vinny's tomorrow night? Yeah, that sounds great. Guys, it truly is just that easy. Just start programming her brain into a yes mentality, and when it feels like you have the right momentum on the yes train, go in for the big one. Because if she likes you, this is how a girl wants you to text her. 3. Intermittent ghosting after a first date, assuming it went well. You're going to want to keep in touch and keep her interested, so you can build up to a second date. But, here's where it's all too easy to mess up your mojo. You're happy. The date went well. 
You guys are texting, maybe even flirting a little. There are the occasional emojis flying around. And you just. Don't. Stop. You get wrapped up in the excitement of your prospective new romance and you just don't. Pause to let her breathe. Dude, don't smother her. That definitely isn't how to get a girl to like you over text. Instead, here is one of the best tricks to get girls to chase you. Stop texting her. You have to break up the cadence. It's what makes literally anything interesting. Take music for example. A drum beat or guitar riff has repetition, until a sudden breakdown or solo deviates. From the pattern and creates excitement. It works with dating and messaging, too. In fact, it's one of the easiest psychological tricks to get girls to chase you. So try it out. As you're going about your day, put your phone away and focus on the task at hand. If you're going to the gym, just focus on your workout, and catch up with her texts. When you're done. The unexpected interruptions in your text conversations will accomplish at least two very important things, one, it will leave her guessing and keep her thinking about you, and two, it will prove that you actually have a life. Hey guys, don't grab the phone and start texting her just yet. Because at the end of this video, we're going to share the biggest mistake guys make when texting a girl they like. So stay tuned until the end to learn how to not be alone this Saturday night. Now let's get back to the last two items on our list. 2. Never lay down fellas, listen up. In the early stages of any new relationship, there's bound to be a lot of communication. Over text. But when those familiar vibrations in your butt pocket get rarer and rarer, don't. Freak out. All is not lost. If it seems like your crush might be drifting, but you're still in contact, knowing how. To flirt with a girl over text can be the key to keeping her interest and getting another date. So when you start getting more maybes than yeses and she's taking longer than normal to respond, there are two things you should do to get her back on the love train. The first thing is to start back at square one. Start working on building those easy yeses. The second thing to do is to hit her objections head on. If she says she can't meet up or maybe you just can't seem to get her to commit to another date, don't lay down. Instead, prove you're worth it. The reason she's pulling back is because, as you continue dating, the relationship starts to take shape and starts feeling more serious. And she's hesitating because she's afraid to make a mistake. Your job is to remind her why being with you is the best decision she could make and keep her focused on feeling good. Watch, hey K, you wanna check out this new band? On Friday night? Um, maybe, I'm not sure what I'm doing this weekend. Okay, no worries. But you're going to do something this Friday night. Right? Heck yeah, it's been such a long week. Do you like checking out new bands? Yeah, I like listening to new music. Do you like hanging out with fun, cool, handsome guys? Um, yeah. Lol, do you think I'm cool, fun, and handsome? Yes, beardy. You're cool and handsome, smile emoji. So what time should I pick you up on Friday? And boom, you're back in. All she needed was a little encouragement to overcome her slight trepidation. 1. Call her want to know how to get a girl to instantly. Like you? Well, here it is. Catch her completely by surprise with this. Ancient courtship technique dating back to the 1980s. Call her. Texting has become so commonplace that it is has edged out older forms of communication. Like talking on the phone or face to face. Several studies have confirmed that only a portion of communication is conveyed through. Actual words, and big chunks come from facial expression, body language, and tone of voice. Texting is crazy useful and unavoidable, but does it make any sense to solely rely on a form of communication that utilizes only a portion of your abilities? The answer is a resounding no, and that's why this strategy is so useful. If you're doing well over text using only a fraction of your ability to communicate, think about how amazing you'll seem when you surprise her with an actual phone call and start using 50% or more of your potential to make her feel something good towards you? 
So if you like her, give her a call. The benefits are backed by undeniable math that even Bill Nye can't argue with. The one texting behavior that always fails OK guys, it's gut check time. We have to be straight up with you about this one particular type of texting that is absolutely never successful. If you've been following Mantelligence for any length of time, you know we don't condone the tasteless practice of sending unsolicited photographs of your dingaling to unsuspecting women. But there's more unsavory texting behavior that we have yet to really dive into. Now, let's start by saying that we know that sex is good, it feels good, it can be healthy. It's what makes the world go round, and it's on everyone's mind much of the time. It's just a fact of life. But sexting is not an okay form of communication if you're texting a girl you just met. Even though it's on your mind and probably on her mind, too, texting about it too early is the fastest way to punch a one-way ticket to ghost town. You're gonna have to acknowledge the elephant in the room at some point, but sexting is something you build up to, not dive right into. Start with innocent flirting and let things progress naturally. She might even lead the way to more risque topics herself. But don't push it. If you play it wrong, you might end up as a screenshot sent to her friends, or worse. You might end up internet famous in one of the worst ways possible. Gentlemen, this is Mantelligence. Today we're showing you 11 amazingly effective ways to flirt with a girl over text. As you probably know all too well, texting is an absolutely essential part of the flirting process and like all things flirting, there's a right way that will get women to genuinely like you and a wrong way that can easily get you in trouble. So, to help you get the girl, here are 11 powerfully helpful tips for flirting with a woman over text. Number 1. Optimize the number exchange if you think about it, getting your number in each other's phones, is your first opportunity to show her the kind of guy you are over text. And like any first impression, you definitely want to get it right. Lucky for you, it's not that hard to do, along with your name, try putting in a fun but helpful little reminder about yourself. Maybe that's where she met you, something you talked about, or what you looked like. Not only will she like that you distinguished yourself from everyone else in her phone, but depending on how you put it, what you wrote will almost definitely make her smile. Dot. Number 2. Never send two texts in a row it may not feel like it, but the chances are. Half of the stuff you text a girl does not require a quick response. And no, just because she doesn't respond right away. Doesn't mean she doesn't like you. So instead of following up before she's even had time to read your text. Show her how patient you are and wait for her to respond before you send another one. Number 3. Know your emoji limit texting is its own language. And like any language, some things can get very lost in translation. So one thing we do about that, is to use emojis to help convey the emotion behind what we're saying. The only problem is, some guys may rely on them just a little too much. So in order to show a girl you can actually use words, and do actually have things to say, make your emojis count and limit them to 3 to 4 per conversation. Number 4. Don't text paragraphs want a quick way to creep a girl out and get your number blocked? Try sending her a long wall of text to read. Guys look, when it comes to flirting, not only are long texts incredibly intense, but they also show a concerning lack of basic social awareness. So if you have something lengthy you need to tell her, do it the old-fashioned way. Which is in person or on the phone. Number 5. Don't send line-by-line -line texts just like you should try to never send huge blocks of texts, you should also never get in the habit of sending sentences one line at a time. This can happen when we're trying to sound in text the same way we do in person. But instead of creating a natural back and forth, if your texts start stacking up, it just makes you seem kind of annoying, and make your texts hard to read. Number 6. Don't do one-word responses if you're a man of few words, now's the time to listen up, because if you're in the habit of responding to questions using only one or two words at a time, you might be coming across as incredibly boring and unenthusiastic. 
And not only could this make a girl think you're annoyed by her texts. But it could also lead to her giving up simply because texting you isn't any fun. Number 7. Never end a text with a period. Your English teachers are gonna hate us for this one. But one trick that's guaranteed to keep your texts naturally conversational and fun is to never end your last sentence with a period. We know, it doesn't make any sense, right? But if you really look at it, ending your texts on a period actually makes you seem rigid and uptight. So for now, hold off on using impeccable grammar, loosen up and ditch some of those periods. Number 8. Make sure she got home okay not only is this an incredibly considerate gesture in general, but because it's quick and casual. Doing it via text message is ideal for when you're just getting to know a girl. So after your girl heads home for the night, take the opportunity to show her you care. Dot and send her a brief, thoughtful text making sure all is well. Number 9. Be aware of texting at night we all know that texting in the middle of the night generally only means one thing. But if you're just getting to know a girl, and she's not the one texting on the late night, don't think that you have to be the one to do it. Because unless she's made it clear that texting late would probably be okay, you really don't know how she's going to respond. So instead, let her be the one to text you after hours. Or just wait to text until the next morning. Number 10. Text her within 24 hours of hanging out because if you really like her and want to see her again, waiting any longer than 24 hours to text back is honestly, just playing games. So instead of making yourself wait three whole days or whatever to get back to a girl you like, show her you don't have time to waste, be direct and text her the next day at the latest. Number 11. Don't wait too long to ask her out these days texting is a huge part of courting a woman. So if a girl asks you to text her, or you already are texting her, that pretty much means it's okay for you to ask her out, dot and texting provides a perfect way to do just that. So before you go talking about everything over text, ask her out, dot and talk face to face instead. Before we finish which voice do you like? Me or Alina or Luke. Thanks for watching.